What is going on guys, it's Modded Warfare here. Welcome back to another PS4 jailbreak news update video. So in my previous video, I discussed some new WebKit vulnerabilities that actually worked on the PS4's WebKit and PS5's WebKit, kind of the latest versions of those WebKits. Well, in recent developments, Slayer's Gorvi, the man, the myth, the legend, has come out and actually turned one of those vulnerabilities into a working WebKit exploit for the PS4 on 9.00. Now, there is a, uh, a big asterisk to this because it does only work on 9.00. It is not back portable to older firmwares. So unfortunately, it is only working on 9.00. It also works on the PS5's WebKit on the kind of latest firmwares for the PS5. Now, there seems to be some dispute about that, whether it works on the actual, actual latest firmware. From my tests, I believe I am on the latest firmware from what I can tell, and it seems to work fine for me. On, on my PS5. So yeah, it seems to work on the latest PS5 firmware and on 9.00 firmware for the PS4. Now again, this is just a WebKit exploit. It's not a jailbreak. I've seen a lot of warnings from people in the scene warning people not to update to 9.00. And I'll just repeat that warning. Don't update to 9.00 if you want a jailbreak because it's this is just a WebKit exploit. You need a WebKit exploit and a kernel exploit in order to get a jailbreak. We do not have a kernel exploit for 9.00, so we don't have a jailbreak. The big issue with this WebKit exploit, I'll kind of cover the bad and then we'll we'll do the good stuff afterwards. So the bad thing about this is that it only works on 9.00 for the PS4. Obviously, the higher firmwares for uh, PS5 it works on as well. But focusing on PS4 here, first of all, it only works on 9.00. So obviously, the vulnerability, the vulnerability that it exploits clearly was not present in the older uh, firmwares, in the older versions of the WebKit. So because of that, uh, I guess this must be some vulnerability that was actually introduced in the newer versions of the WebKit, and that's why it's not working on the older versions. You'll just get a syntax error if you try and run it on uh, older firmwares on the PS4. There's a test page that you can run. That I'll put a couple of them in the description. But basically, when you try and load it, you'll just get a syntax error if you're on an older version of the WebKit where this vulnerability basically doesn't exist, then it's not going to work. You're going to get that syntax error. Same thing on the PS5. If you're actually on an old enough firmware on the PS5, you'll get a syntax error as well for the, because it's on an older WebKit version. But the latest versions of the WebKit in these systems are vulnerable. Now, the problem with that, obviously, is that we're waiting on this potential kernel exploit from CTERT. Um, which hopefully is a kernel exploit. And if it is, we're kind of expecting if it does get disclosed, it may be sort of early 2022 that it might be disclosed. And if that's the case, it's probably only going to work on 8.52, not 9.00, because I believe this report, this bug report, was made before the 9.00 update came out. So therefore, Sony would have probably patched this vulnerability, this potential you know, kernel exploit, they will have patched it in 9.00. So the problem with that is that if this comes out and it only works up to 8.52 and this WebKit exploit only works on 9.00 and not any lower firmwares, then this cannot be chained with this potential kernel exploit and you still won't have a jailbreak. It'll be pretty frustrating because it'll be like we have a kernel exploit on one firmware and what the next firmware above, we have a WebKit exploit but we need them both on the same firmware in order to get a jailbreak. So that would be kind of frustrating. But, you know, I wouldn't be too worried about it right now because obviously there's other vulnerabilities in the WebKit that could be looked into that might work on the older firmwares between 7.55 and, and uh, 8.52. So hopefully we'll be able to get some kind of WebKit exploit then. Also, if a kernel exploit does come out, I think it also kind of incentivizes more of these kind of exploit devs to look into WebKit exploits because once a kernel exploit's actually out, there's more of an incentive to try and get a WebKit exploit for those older versions. New vulnerabil vulnerabilities in the WebKit are discovered a lot more frequently than new kernel exploits for the PS4 are discovered. So it's not too big of a deal. We probably will, you know, at some point see a new WebKit exploit that will work on 8.52. Um, obviously there is a chance, but I don't really believe it, but there is a chance some people think that, you know, maybe the CTERT exploit does still work on 9.00. Maybe they didn't have time to, you know, patch it before they released 
The reason why I don't necessarily believe that is that if that was the case, Sony would have released another update shortly after 9.00 to patch this vulnerability if it is a kernel exploit. So that we would be on like 9.03 or something on the PS4, not 9.00. So because they haven't done another update since 9.00 in quite a long time, and even if they do do one now, you know, it's been so long at this point, you know, I'm pretty sure they will have patched this in 9.00. So yeah, we'll just have to wait. If this does get released and it's a kernel exploit for 8.52, then we'll just have to wait for hopefully a new WebKit exploit for 8.52. And uh, yeah, that's kind of the downside. The other downside is that this WebKit exploit cannot be chained with previous older jailbreaks like 7.02 and 7.55 to create a more stable jailbreak for those firmwares. Uh, that's not going to happen since this only targets 9.00. So that's the bad news. The good news is that if we do end up with some kind of future 9.00 kernel exploit coming out some point in the future, then it could be chained with this WebKit exploit to get a full jailbreak. So that's good news. And the other good thing is obviously with PS5, the fact that we now actually have a WebKit exploit, the first proper hack i guess you could say for the ps5 now obviously there's not a lot you can really do if you just have a webkit exploit with no kernel exploit but it does kind of open up the door for future ps5 jailbreaks if we do get a kernel exploit for the ps5 it could be chained with this webkit exploit to maybe get a jailbreak obviously we don't really know the ins and outs of the ps5's kind of security and the way everything is set up so this could also offer some insight into uh, potential vulnerabilities in the PS5 because people can take advantage of this WebKit exploit to kind of better understand the kind of internals of the PS5. They can kind of get deeper into the into the code by breaking out of the WebKit sandbox and, and kind of messing around. So if it's anything like the PS4, and it is similar, it seems, you know, we've got the PS5 running WebKit just like the PS4. The PS5 runs FreeBSD just like the PS4, except it's a different version. I think it's FreeBSD 12 in the PS5 compared to FreeBSD 9 in the PS4. So obviously there's some differences there and there could be some other kind of security layers on top on the PS5 that didn't exist in the PS4. You know, obviously the WebKit's in its own sandbox and the WebKit exploit allows you to break out of that sandbox. But what if that's encased in another sandbox on the PS5? Well, now people can find out by trying this uh, WebKit exploit on the PS5. So yeah, we'll have to wait and see. But if it's anything like the PS4, where you just need the WebKit exploit and the kernel exploit, then, you know, now anybody who finds some kind of kernel vulnerability or kernel exploit on FreeBSD 12, they can now use this WebKit exploit on the PS5 to actually test it on the PS5 instead of having no way of actually being able to test any kind of kernel vulnerabilities. So yeah, but obviously there might be other security measures on the PS5 that, um, you know, make it more complicated than that. So we'll just have to wait and see, but it offers a good chance uh, for, you know, more kind of knowledge to be gained about the PS5's security and potential ways of exploiting it. So that is indeed a good thing. So, so yeah, all I can really say is that if you want a PS5 jailbreak in the future, the best thing you should do right now is stay on the current latest firmware. So, you know, 21-02. I mean, really, you should just stay on whatever firmware you're on right now and not update any further. Um, but it seems like, you know, Sony will patch this WebKit exploit in their next update for the PS5. So the latest update that I've seen that seems to work is 21.02-04.03. So don't up, definitely don't update past that version, but you know what if you're on a lower version stay on the lower version don't even update to that one um but you know they're definitely going to patch it in the next update so you know if you're currently on the latest firmware for the ps5 21.02-04.03 then make sure you stay on that firmware version and don't update any higher uh, if you want to get a jailbreak in future unless a new webkit exploit comes out obviously if there are any significant changes in the future i will make sure i make another video to update you guys so yeah, anyway, that's it for this update. Hope you guys enjoyed it or found the information useful. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe and I'll hopefully see you guys in the next one.